Okay, guys, I did um, cool the candy mixture down and beat it with a mixer. Um, I really don't think it, it's going to turn out. It, it looks like it's way too liquidy, but let's go ahead and pour it in the pan. I'm not sure that I um, read that right. 203 degrees Fahrenheit. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't need any divinity anyway. I mainly just wanted to tell y'all some more stories about uh, the preacher. So they did come to visit us that day, you know, for, for Christmas, and then I had to wait and, and get the um, peas cooked for our Christmas dinner. Um, also, do y'all remember back in the old day when they would have these, uh, it was called a pounding for the preachers, and um, all the, the members of the community who were members of the church, they would uh, pound the preacher and his family, and they would bring a um, five-pound sack of flour and a sack of sugar and cornmeal and a pound of butter, um, dried beans and peas and... So I remember John telling me about that when he was growing up, about the parishioners would have a pounding for the preacher and his wife. But John's daddy, um, you know, they were just really ugly to me, and and so was his mother. They they just went out of their way to try to find ways to to frustrate me and, and to hurt my feelings. Um, now, Jason was born... He was my firstborn on February the 10th, 1973. And John's mother would, you know, the next year when he turned one, she did send him a birthday card. And when he turned two, she sent him a birthday card. And, you know, all, all those years she would address the birthday card to Jason Sullivan um, and mail it to him. And then my son Jeremy was born in February also. Uh, his birthday is February the 18th. 1978. So then the next year, Jason gets a birthday card from his grandma uh, on February the 10th addressed to Jeremy Sullivan. And then on Jeremy's birthday on the 18th, his mother sent a birthday card addressed to Jason Sullivan. <laughs> now you can't tell me that she did not do that on purpose. She did that every single year from then on out. Oh, that used to make me so mad. Um, let me see, what else did they, did they do to, to aggravate me? Um, just, just whatever they could think of. Um, so anyway, um, let's see, I did write some things down. Make the Christmas dinner. Oh, the way that he would preach. Um, he had this terminology when he would deliver his message. He would use the terminology from the Bible, like, um, you know, he wouldn't say, um, you know, when when you come to the Lord, he would say, cometh to the Lord, and uh, thou goeth. And, you know, just, he would use the terminology with that E-T-H, and that would aggravate me, that, that the way that he preached like that. And then uh, um, another time he told me this story that he had um, gone to see um, one of the members of the church who had had a stroke and was bedridden. And John's father told me that that member told him that um, there was a, a man that had come over there. Uh, I guess it was a member of their church to visit him. And then when he left, the man said that he could see um, the, the um, glare from the china cabinet, the glass in the china cabinet, he could see his wife and the man in another room having sex. <laughs> but I always thought it was probably John's daddy telling the story about himself. <laughs> I mean, why would he want to tell me a story like that? But, um, and then, um, this years later, I guess about 15 or about 15 years had passed. And John's dad had gotten sick with um, stomach cancer. So they came to visit us, and he was not doing well at all. And 
they they came unannounced. I, I didn't even know that they were supposed to be there that day. And I had made this Creole um, ground beef casserole. And it just had everything in it. I think it had, you know, the, the meat and potatoes and peas and carrots. And it was real spicy. And it had, um, the recipe had called for cayenne pepper. And we ate a lot of cayenne pepper being you know, that I, we were living in, in Covington, Louisiana at the time, and I made a lot of Cajun spice dishes, and his father ate it. Um, you know, I, I was so busy. By that time, I had Jason, Jeremy, and Jill, and I was just so busy and being um, flustered, having unexpected company. I didn't even think to tell his father that it ha had the cayenne pepper in it. So he ate it. And then he got sick and had to go to the emergency room and his stomach, the cancer in his stomach, um, his stomach started bleeding. So he had this severe internal bleeding and then he died. Oops. Was it my fault? So then um, the divinity doctor, he didn't want his wife to have to pay the money for um, a funeral and everything. So he had um, made out a will long before and had stipulated for them to donate his body to the University of Mississippi um, Medical School. <laughs> so I'm just wondering if the medical students, when they, when they cut into that cadaver, if any of the evilness escaped. So, um, let's go back in the kitchen and see if that divinity looks like it's going to get hard. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all have been asking me for longer videos, so, um, sometimes you get what you ask for, and that's what you're getting today. So, let's just take a look at this divinity, and I don't believe it, it turned out. That's Okay. Mmm. I'm just going to eat it with a spoon, I think. Mmm. -mm. It is good. Anyway, I wanted to tell y'all that I'm going to have a drawing for a special prize. Now, I wanted to ask y'all if you would, um, I think I have 200, um, I'm sorry, 684 subscribers. And I wanted to tell you that my lucky number is seven. So I'm hoping to get reach the 700 mark and even surpass it. Um, since my lucky number is seven, I'm trying to reach 777 subscribers. So I wanted to ask each of you to please share my videos on your Facebook. And ask your Facebook friends, um, you know, if they would watch my channel and subscribe to my channel and um, so when I reach 777 subscribers I'm going to give away this purse and it is a green solid lizard skin leather purse um, it's from anthropology it has a price tag on it $88 has a, a shoulder strap and then it just um, you know it opens it has the leather oh you can feel the soft leather inside um, and then it has um, a couple uh, three three pockets inside here I know you can't see it but it you know it has pockets you could probably fit I think um you know, at least fit your um, driver's license and and uh, a few things in there and it is made by Neuville and I believe this is a French company and it does the name of it is postcard and it does say green lizard but um, for all of you who are interested in it of course you can take the shoulder strap off and just use it as a little clutch you know but it's so soft and this will last you so, so long. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful green. 
So if you're interested in the purse, this is a, a national and international giveaway. I don't mind shipping out of the country. Um, just in your comments that you leave me today, just put lizard there and then leave your comment. And then I'm going to put your name on a, I'm going to write it on a little piece, a piece of paper. And then I'm going to cut up all the uh, little strips of paper and um, put it in a bowl. And then we'll have a drawing whenever I reach the 777 mark. Just don't forget to put lizard in your comments. So I hope you enjoyed this, even though my divinity didn't turn out this time. But we'll make it again on a day when it's not so human. And y'all just hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to share to your Facebook friends. And just keep on coming back. Bye.